Hello, thank you for viewing another CuttingEdgeLinux.com video. My name is Edward, and we are going to discuss installing Manjaro on a virtual box. And after I do this install, I'm going to use this virtual box to go through with some other configuration and installs to make it a little nicer. So here we have the live CD. The first thing that we want to do is go through with Gparted and configure the partitions. This is easier to do with Gparted than with CFDisk or FDisk, which is why I do it that way. So the first thing we're going to do is make some swap. I'm going to give it a gig, and I'm doing some really basic settings here. You probably wouldn't want to do this on your home machine, but for a virtual box, the basic settings are what I need. So there's the creation of my partitions. I'm going to mark this one as bootable. So grub will work properly and there will be no issues upon trying to boot. Next you want to open the command line installer. And I prefer using the stable installer because I don't have EFI. Choose your time zone for your date and time. The disk preparation is already done because I just did it in Gparted. I set up SDA1 for my swap. SDA2 for my root running ext4. Now it's going to create, format, and mount your partitions properly. And then you can go ahead and do the install. Through the magic of recording software, you get to skip the installation time. And the installer will now configure your software after it's done the install. It will configure your sound system and configure the kernel and your video drivers. This is rather nice because not all distributions do this. However, most newer user-friendly distributions do. And, and now we can go through and configure. There's not a lot to configure. Set the root password. Set up a user. I'm just going to stick with the basics. And you could set your host name or something of that sort, or your FS tab if you have additional partitions to mount and you didn't want the installer to be touching them and potentially modifying your data. It's safer to do that sort of thing afterwards. Now it'll generate your locales, sync with the Pac-Man databases, and then we're ready to do the bootloader and reboot. This is setting up your init RAM FS so your system will boot properly. And it's bootloader time. Installing Grub2 and it's done and we're good. The installer is now done. We're ready to reboot. And I'm going to do so. See you at the reboot when I explain what to do on first boot, updating your system and such. 